Francois. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I serve on the Select Committee with her, can I join in the whole House in congratulating President Moon on her appointment? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, unlike the Leader of the Opposition, I have read both of these documents. Yep. I was the party's spokesman on the Lisbon Treaty in 2008, a bagatelle of a mere 300 pages, so I believe that perhaps I have understood it. This, and I'd like the Prime Minister to confirm it, is not in any way legally binding. This is, this is a draft <coughs> treaty which, as the Select Committee Chairman knows, would bind us under international law. The problem I have is that the Prime Minister has repeatedly at the dispatch box made commitments that we would leave the Customs Union. It's in our election manifesto. And yet in this draft treaty we would remain in the backstop and we could only leave if the EU allowed us. It is the so-called Hotel California dilemma. And moreover, she has said that she would never contemplate a border down the Irish Sea. And yet this document contemplates exactly that. Prime Minister, why have you repeatedly made commitments at the dispatch box and then done the opposite? And when will the meaningful vote be? The gentleman is concluding his question. When the meaningful vote will be, will it be before or after Christmas? Say, on, the, uh, on, the, on the last point that my honourable friend made, um, discussions are taking place in the normal manner in relation to these, uh, to these matters. We want to ensure there is a balance we need to address between ensuring that there are sufficient days debate for this House in uh, coming up to the meaningful vote, um, but recognising also the timetable that we need to exercise, uh, that we need to uh, uh, be aware of in relation to getting the withdrawal agreement bill through uh, on the basis of a a positive vote in the meaningful vote. Uh, Can I also say to my honourable friend, uh, and I'm sure he won't be surprised, that uh, that I do do not accept some of the uh, points that he has made in relation to the, his interpretation of the, the nature of the document that we have before us. We will be leaving the customs union. That is something that he's absolutely right. I've said here at the dispatch box, I've said elsewhere, and I'm happy to repeat here at the dispatch box. That's the point of the future framework that we are setting up, that it does uh, set up, and we have to put this into legal text, and he's right about the difference between these two documents, although we have that linkage clause in Article 184 in the withdrawal agreement. <coughs> in relation to the best endeavours uh, to put this into, uh, into place. Uh, but the uh, backstop is, as I've, I've responded earlier in relation to the backstop, uh, but it is the future framework, the future relationship that we have that, that uh, in, we want to see in place by the 1st of January 2021 that ensures we do not remain in the customs union, we do not remain in the single market, and that we are able to do the things and take the judgments and have control in those areas that people voted for when they voted in the referendum.